Hey tribe, what is the vibe? Welcome back to As I Am Tarot. I'm Kay, and I am here to do another reading for the collective. Holy Spirit, I ask that you give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Okay, guys, so this is a general message. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit. Don't try to force anything to fit your story. Leave other people's story alone, okay? If it's for you, you're going to know it's for you, okay? If you felt the urge to click onto this reading, then there's something in here for you. All right, let's start off with some message cards. Let's see what we get. Okay. What do we have for the collector? What's going on with the collector? We have wedding rings. Ooh. We have wedding rings. Union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love, and devotion. All right, now. We have sword and rose, clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, and determination. Okay. Coffee cup, meeting and talking, okay, favor in the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. All right, so I feel like somebody wants to talk, all right? Somebody wants to talk, somebody wants to let their feelings be known, somebody somebody is looking for some kind of commitment here, okay? They want to talk, they want to meet up for some coffee or something, all right? <laughs> yeah, and we have shock at the bottom of the deck. So you might be shocked when this happens, okay? You might be surprised or this person may be shocked that this is what they're wanting, okay? What else? <clears throat> oh, we have the snake. Competition and and, and enemy. The other woman, look over your shoulder. Oh, boy. You know, it's always sign. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we have addiction, codependent, obsession and restraint, possession and control, emotional block. So, okay, okay. So, clearly, there's someone here. Sorry, guys. I was eating pineapples. <laughs> and it's stuck in my tooth. There's someone here that is looking for a commitment with you, okay? Okay, got it. I got it, got it. Okay. Um, and this person is wanting to come and talk to you. I feel like this person may not have let you in on how they truly f feel or felt about you. Um, and... The fact that we have this meeting and talking with the coffee cup here, it tells me that you guys may not be in communication right now, okay? And I feel like the reason, like the real reason behind all of this is the fact that there's someone else. <clears throat> there's someone else or something else that is preventing this person from um, moving how they want with you, okay? But we have paradise at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like happiness and joy, playfulness. Yeah, I feel like you and this person enjoy each other's company, okay? I feel like, yeah, honeymoon phase. I feel like this, whatever this is, never took, really took off. Let me get one more card, Spirit, please. I, I feel like this, whatever it was, it never really left the ground the way it could have. And I feel like the reason being is whatever that snake character is, whatever the other woman, whatever the competition is. Oh, okay, I got two. I'll take it. We got soulmates and picture, okay? Soul, soulmate, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. 
yeah, I feel like this person is feeling like this person is missing you. Look, they're looking at pictures, nostalgic. Okay. They want to make new memories with you. I feel like, I feel like you guys weren't allowed to make memories the way you should have been because of whatever this, this other person is, whatever this, you know, and I feel like that person is locked in on whoever this person is for you. Okay. They're like obsessed with them. And I feel like they may even have some kind of control over them. Okay. But <clears throat> your person is missing you. So, but I feel like, yeah, you're, 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 you're just, you know, you're living in the moment right now. I feel like you're trying to occupy your mind when it comes to this person. Okay. Because I feel like, you know, you do care about this person, but it's just like, you know, I'm not going to sit around and twiddle my thumbs while you figure out what you want. Okay. Let's see. But this person is thinking about um, long-term commitment here with this wedding rings. <clears throat> And um, with the union and marriage soul connection, they want to devote themselves to you. Okay. We have a mask. Yeah. I feel like this person was not really showing you their true feelings. Okay. In the past, heart with a key. And yeah. <laughs> now. They're welcoming love, right? They're trying to open their heart to you now. It's like they feel like they've met the one. And I feel like because you haven't been around for this person to miss you, that means you, ha you haven't been around, right? So the fact that you haven't been around, I feel like that is that is what is showing this person it's like okay like I didn't expect to feel like this about this person but the fact that I do is that has to mean something right <clears throat> yeah karmic relationship I feel like that's what this person is in self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work so I feel like that's what you're doing right now but I feel like whatever this person is in with this snake is a karmic relationship right it's like this person is learning lessons or they have learned lessons in that situation. And I feel like now you and this person is trying to focus on yourself and the things that make you happy. I feel like this person realizes that you make them happy and that's why they're focused on you now, right? Because with this karmic relationship, it says letting go and loving you. So they're letting go and loving themselves and loving you because that's what makes them happy. What else? I feel like some of you um, may have felt rejected by this person, but it's saying that you shouldn't feel rejected because it's not really about you. It's about whatever that person has going on in the background. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah. I feel like this person is wanting to um, solidify this, this thing with you, okay? <clears throat> Let me get one more. Please. Thank you. The runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So 
this person may also have been running from their feelings okay i feel like okay so i feel like this person the person that they're dealing with in the background they don't want to be in that situation but i feel like that person just had some kind of hold on them so it was almost like they just stayed because of whatever hold this person had on them okay but now they're running okay they're not wanting to be in this situation anymore here with this person okay Let's see. What else? What else can we get for this message? We have adjudication. So, yeah, I feel like this person is making a judgment call um, on whatever this relationship is. Yeah, then we have pathway. So, I feel like this person is wanting to make um, a transition from one situation to another one. And I feel like this one. They see you as the light at the end of the tunnel, basically, okay? They're basically making a, a decision to go towards the light, which is you. What else? Ooh, okay. We have courthouse. And we have occupation. So for some of you, this person may have some kind of court situation with this um, other person. If this is a karmic relationship, they may very well have some kind of court situation. Or for some of you, they may work in the courthouse. Okay. Or... Yeah, they're, they're, they, there's some kind of, huh, I feel like this person, hold on, I'm getting another, um, I feel like this person doesn't want, for some of you, this person doesn't want to be judged from making the wrong decision okay some of you might be into um fashion or somebody's into like fashion or something I'm also picking up that for some of you, well, mm, okay, so for some of you, this person, we have gift here, and we also have main male. So I feel like for some of you, um, this person might want to just go to the courthouse, okay, and get married. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody, but... That's what I'm picking up. Yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, we have high honor. So this person, clearly, they value you. Okay. You hold a lot of value in their eyes. Even if you may not feel like you do, you do. 
All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. What else can we get for this um, for this message? Holy Spirit. Ooh. We have the devil. Okay. So, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Not necessarily. You may be a Capricorn. But... There's some kind of obsession here, for sure. Uh, let's see. What else? Yeah, we have the emperor. Okay, so I feel like somebody is trying to control a situation. You could be dealing with a father figure, a boss, okay? Um, I feel like you could be dealing with a Capricorn with Aries in their chart or an Aries with Capricorn in their chart for some of you. But um, I'm just feeling like somebody is trying to control. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. So definitely picking up on Aries energy. I feel like somebody wants to uh, possess you. That's what I'm hearing. But I feel like they tr they want to do it sexually. <sighs> yeah, okay. So I feel like this is only... Okay, so I don't feel like this is like a, a negative type of energy at all. I just feel like this person may just be very passionate. Okay, and with the five of cups at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this person is missing you. And the more they miss you or the more you guys are separated, the more they feel for you, the more possessive they feel about you or the more obsessed they feel about you, if that makes sense. Right. It's like there's somebody in the background that's obsessed with them. But they're not obsessed with that person. They're obsessed with you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay? So I feel like for some of you, this person could be a younger Earth sign. Or just a person, a younger person with um, Earth in their chart. Okay? But <clears throat> this person, I feel like they're trying to get their, them, themselves together. Like, I feel like they're trying to, because like I said, I feel like this person is going through it as far as obsessing over you, right? So I feel like they're trying to keep their wits about them. Oh, okay. We have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Hierophant. Okay, so yeah. This person is definitely... Okay, we first, we had the wedding rings come out first card, okay? Did, we have courthouse occupation. This person could be working on taking you to the courthouse, like I said, for a courthouse marriage, a courthouse wedding, okay? Gift and main mail. So I feel like with this six, six of pentacles, this person is wanting to give and take equally with you. I feel like they're wanting to commit now. It's like, okay, I can't, I'm, I'm just, I'm so enamored with with you <laughs> that even if I was afraid of commitment before I'm not anymore okay I'm, I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to be vulnerable because I feel like this this is this person might have okay they might have a control problem. They like to control things. But I don't feel like they can control the situation with you. So I feel like they're now willing to be vulnerable with their feelings. We have the Page of Wands. So I feel like this person could be coming in to with some kind of message here, okay? Some kind of surprise, okay? We have the gift that came out earlier, so it's very possible that this person could be coming in with some sort of tangible gift. Yeah, we have the magician. This person is trying to figure out 
they're trying to use all their resources, okay? That's also a page of pentacles. Um, it's like they're trying to figure out what method to use when it comes to you. You could be dealing with a Virgo or um, a Virgo or a Gemini, not necessarily, or a Taurus. Excuse me. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. What else? But this person, it's like they're they're ready. I feel like this person <laughs> has a way about themselves. That on the outside, on the outside, they look very well put together. Like they're very stoic, right? On the outside. But on the inside, it's a river of emotions, okay? And I feel like that is, is that river is taking them over right now. We have the five of swords. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this person, they're, I feel like the loss of you has them deeply in their feelings, okay? Yep, <laughs> come on now, this person is wanting to make an offer of love to you. And um, they're wanting you to accept it. Okay. It's like they just realized how they feel. Yeah. You have the three of cups. They want to get together with you. You bring this person joy. Okay. I feel like this person feels... Joyful when you're around, okay. <sighs> this person might want to take you to some kind of gathering, they might want to introduce you to their friends. Something to that effect. Yeah. We have the four cups. Yeah. I, I, I feel like they're tired of, of not being able to be in your energy. This is what I feel. Yeah. <laughs> we have the hermit. It came out in reverse, but these um, cards... They don't have any reversals. So I feel like this person, but the fact that it came out in reverse, I'm just going to go with, they, they want to come out of isolation. So I feel like you both may have been in isolation from each other, but I feel like one of you, either you or this person with this computer here, has been keeping an eye on the other in silence, okay? While trying to figure out what to do. This is a divine connection, okay? This person, you guys have a deep soul connection. You guys probably have great conversations, you know? It's like, yeah. 
this person is attracted to you. This person, you draw this person in, okay? This person sees you as a visionary. They see you as someone who knows what you want and go after it, okay? They see you as someone who helps others. Yeah, the sun could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. But this person sees you as just positive vibes. They might even want to have a, ch a child with you. Or you may have children with them. I don't know. But this person sees you as positive energy. Okay? You make this person happy. But you may have walked away from them. Or this is them wanting to walk away from that situation that they're in. Queen of Cups, you guys are a match, all right? They see you as a person that's loving, caring, sincere, honest, compassionate, okay? And, like, who would want to give that up, right? <clears throat> I just feel like... This person tries to control the things they don't need to control. And then the things that they need to control, they don't. It's kind of like backwards, really. What else? We have the King of Wands. Yeah. And the Ten of Cups. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I'm, I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised if the Empress comes out. Because we have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Like, come on now. <laughs> like, huh. okay, we have the Tower at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person may just be willing to cause a Tower moment in order to go towards their emotional fulfillment. Okay. King of Swords. Yep. They're cutting that out. They're cutting. I told you. I told you. They are ready to cause a whole tower moment with whatever this other situation is with the snake over here. Yeah, because you're their wish fulfillment. Like, come on now. What else before we close out this reading? Anything else? <sighs> this person can have um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their chart, okay? Anything else? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Six of Swords. They're leaving the headache to go to harmony, basically. All right, but I'm going to leave it here, guys. This person is not letting you go, all right? If you resonated with this, like, share, subscribe, turn on your notification bell to all so that you can see every um, upload that I put out. All right, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Later.